Welcome back to another AI video, everybody. Today, we're diving into a game changer for folks in just about every industry imaginable. Because today, I'm going to show you how to build an AI voice caller assistant from scratch. We're going to be checking out Vaffy. It's a leading player in the AI voice caller space. Voice callers are on the rise right now. Not only do voice callers sound incredibly realistic, but they can do everything from answering simple questions to booking and managing appointments with ease. Before going further, let's listen to a sneak peek of what we're gonna build today. Hi, this is Mary from Vancouver Beauty Salon. How can I help you today? Hey Mary, whereabouts are you located? We are located in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Is there anything specific you need help with or would you like to book an appointment? So I can book an appointment with you? Yes, absolutely. What are your hours of operation? We are open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We are closed on Sundays. Would you uh, like to book an appointment during these hours? I think I'm okay. I, I might call back a little bit later to book an appointment. Is that okay? Of course, that's perfectly fine. Have a great day. All right, take care, Mary. You too. Take care. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm blown away with the lifelike quality there. So we're gonna be jumping into building that right away here. Make sure you head on over to the description to follow along here. The link is gonna be in the description as always here. And once you land on the site there, you can just go ahead and click on the try for free right here. And you can make an account super fast by just clicking on your Google account if you have one. And just like that, you're gonna be off to the races here. So now you're gonna be on the Vappy dashboard here. The first thing you're going to notice is everything is super clean and you're going to come over to the left hand side here and click on the assistance selection here. Just click this right here. Then you're going to see a big green button at the top that says create assistant. Just go ahead and click that. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and name our assistant here. So let's call her Mary. And you are welcome to go with a blank template, but I recommend coming down to one of the quick start options and starting off with one of those first. So let's go with the appointment setter here. In the description, it says designed for dental practices to demonstrate setting appointments. So we can go ahead and click this one as a baseline. So let's go ahead and do that. Create assistant. All right, so here's Mary. At any point in time, you can come over to the top right and click on this big green button that says talk with assistant. Let's go ahead and do that really quick here. So click this. Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? So we can always talk with Mary at any point in time there in the top right, as I said. We're just gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna be on the model page here. This section here allows you to configure the model for the assistant here. So you're gonna have your first message here. Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? Anything you say here is gonna be the first message that Mary says. And then underneath that is the system prompt. The biggest thing today is gonna to be the system prompt. The system prompt section is everything with Vappy. You're essentially gonna treat this as a full-on instruction protocol for your assistant. It's very important that you fine tune this every step of the way as you move along. Uh, you're gonna put in as much instruction and as much direction as possible in there. And the default assistant that we have here offers a pretty solid baseline to work off of here. And on the right hand side, you're gonna have the provider. You can play around with this, but I recommend just keeping it on open AI. And that goes for most of the settings here. It's just best to keep them on as default just to start out with and then kind of work away from there. Again, with the model here, I can go ahead and click this. It's default GPT 3.5. If I go to a more expensive language model like GPT-4 Turbo, I can go ahead and click this. And you're gonna see at the top here how much your model is going to cost, kind of a rough estimate of how much it's gonna cost once your model is actually put into place here. With GPT-4, it's coming in at about 12 cents a minute. And then the latency is on the right-hand side. This is the latency right here. This is how the model responds to answers with our inquiries there. Let's move on to the transcriber here. Again, gonna be best just to leave this on default. You're welcome to play around with these settings here, but I'll leave that with you. Now the voice here, the voice configuration, you can actually pick the provider here. Again, I'm gonna keep this as default. 11 Labs is also an option too. So there's actually a way to go in and clone your voice with 11 Labs and then go ahead and actually use that voice as a provider. You're welcome to kind of play around with that a little bit more, but I'm just gonna keep that on as default here. Move on to functions here. Functions, and more particularly the tools, enables your voice bot to perform certain actions and tasks during the call. There's API integration that goes on here. This is a little bit more advanced, but this is going to be, let's say, for example, setting this up with 
a system on the back end where you're going to schedule, reschedule, cancel appointments, you would actually come into here and make specific functions. So, so that's where you'd come here. Again, there's some more advanced settings here, different kind of privacy settings. Scroll down a little bit, you're going to see the start speaking settings here. So this is essentially how fast you want the assistant to kind of start speaking, how long you want them to wait, how it kind of handles punctuation, that sort of thing. And then your analytics as well here. So that's a quick overview of our assistant. And I'm actually just going to go in and make some adjustments to the prompt here. And then we're going to see what we get there. All right. So let's go ahead and prompt our new voice assistant together here. Remember when I said that the system prompt is the most important piece? All right, we're gonna start with that here. Here's my plan with crafting my master prompt here. Here's a scenario. I own a beauty salon called Vancouver Beauty Salon. For the role, you are an AI assistant for Vancouver Beauty Salon. Tone, keep it professional yet friendly, avoiding robotic language. Response style, be concise and always encourage appointments. Tasks, inform about treatments, book appointments, answer FAQs, guide website use and engage users. Scheduling, collect name, date, time, and treatment before using the schedule function. All right, so with all my guidelines there, I just used the help of Grok AI to help me make a system prompt. And I've just gone ahead and stuck it into my system prompt here. So if I scroll down, I can see I have an identity, I have a style, response guidelines, tasks and goals, key instructions, scheduling, example scenario, and notes. So I have a full prompt here that gives clear direction. And that is what I recommend the most here when dealing with VAPI. You wanna make sure your system prompt has a lot of detail and instructions are super clear, protocol is super clear, and that's gonna give you the best result here. Once everything looks good, you can come over to publish just to make sure everything is saved. So it's telling me it has been published here. And let's go ahead and put our assistant to these tests today. So let's go ahead and talk with our assistant here. Hi, this is Mary from Vancouver Beauty Salon. How can I help you today? Hey, Mary, whereabouts are you located? We're located in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. If you need directions or any other assistance, feel free to ask. Would you like to book an appointment with us? Uh, sure, yeah, I'd like to book an appointment. Great. Could I have your name, please? Yeah, my name is Nick Smith. Thank you, Nick. What date and time would you like to schedule your appointment? Uh, I'm thinking sometime tomorrow works best for me. All right. What time tomorrow works best for you, Nick? Uh, how about 12 o'clock, 12 p.m.? Perfect. What treatment would you like to schedule for your appointment? Let's schedule a laser therapy treatment. Just a sec. Your appointment for a laser therapy treatment has been scheduled for tomorrow at 12 p.m. If you need any further assistance, feel free to ask. Have a great day, Nick. Perfect. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now. You're welcome, Nick. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, so that sounded great. Uh, I'm actually going to come over to the top right here and click on this. These little three dots here. I come over to the call logs and... I can come over to the most recent call I had here. I can actually see all the, the details here and the stats here. So for example, I can see the call cost. So this call costs 23 cents. I can open this up and I can actually listen back to the recording here. So if I go ahead and click this. Hi, this is Mary from Vancouver Beauty Salon. How can I help you today? Hey Mary, whereabouts are you located? So I have the full recording transcript right here, which you can imagine the value and happiness for every single phone call. So that's amazing. All right, so as I mentioned, once you're happy with everything, you can go ahead and click publish if you haven't already, and it's gonna publish your assistant. From there, you can actually go ahead and click on the phone number section on the left-hand side here. And this is where you'd come if you're gonna actually want to connect your agent to a particular phone number. There's gonna be full instructions and documentation on this right here in the dashboard. So if I go ahead and click on the documentation here, it's gonna explain how this is all gonna work here if I actually wanna get my agent signed up and onto a phone number here for my business. Let's say if I had a business running here. So you can definitely go ahead and check all that out. It's all right here. Or you can actually click on the create phone number here. And there's a couple of different ways you can actually go ahead and create a VAPI number or import it from some other providers as well. All right, so that is VAPI. Today, we were able to make a reservation and appointment booking agent from scratch there. So we just had to go through everything and prompt everything to our liking there. I definitely encourage you to try this out for yourself. Just want to mention too that if you come on down to the bottom left here and you click on your email address, let's go ahead and do that. You can just go up to the billing section here and you're going to look at the very top page and you're going to see that we are on the trial membership here. So the trial membership is a free plan. 
So just keep in mind that everything we did today was on the trial subscription here. So everything we did was free of charge. So you can easily come into Vappy and you can play around with building an assistant on the trial subscription here. So definitely recommend to head on over to the description. Again, link is gonna be in the description as always. And good luck with building your AI voice assistant.